Welcome back to God Driven TV with your boy LaShawn Taylor. If you're new here, if this is your first time scrolling through my channel, you know, I appreciate you for stopping by. You're definitely gonna wanna make sure you're subscribed. But y'all got another good one for y'all today. We're gonna be doing a monogrammed LV inspired decorative pillow. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get straight into this video. Now, all right, so boom. The apps we're gonna be using for this project is this monogram it app this magic eraser app and then the cricut design space app so first we'll go ahead head over to the monogram it app if you don't have it I'll go ahead and uh down download it in your app store now this is a you do have to pay for this app but the way we're gonna do it uh you know we're we're not gonna pay for it, so you'll be you'll be fine as long as you do it the way that uh that I do it. All right, so we'll come down here to where it says make a monogram. I'm gonna go ahead and type in my initials, L O T, and hit done. All right, I'm gonna come down here to where it says background, and I'm gonna change this uh pattern background to just a plain white background just like this all right cool i'm gonna come over to where it says fonts and where it's highlighted in orange i'm gonna tap on it and i'm gonna make the font the uh letters big like that then i'll hit the check mark and i'll come over here and pick a design that i that i like for my decorative pillow and as you can see, it's a whole bunch of different designs, whole different, whole lot of different fonts that you can choose from. But I actually like this uh, second one right here. So we're gonna go with this. So now, like I said, we're not about to pay for this. So what you're gonna have to do is screenshot this and crop it to where all you see is the image. And then we'll hit the done and save to photos. So we'll head over to our web browser. We'll type in LV background. Go to images and we'll go ahead and grab this LV image right here. Save the photos. All right, we'll go out and we'll go to the magic eraser app. And we'll go to photo and we'll get that monogram that we just made so we'll click on that and hit it and get that uploaded all right so what we want to do here is take out all of the black we'll come down here and to where it says wand click on it and then start taking out each black part of the design okay so it's so now uh, our monogram letters are transparent and then the circle is transparent. So we'll come up here and hit this check mark. On the next page, we'll, where it says background, we'll click the background, click image, click photo, and now we'll upload that LV wallpaper we just got. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just line the background up to where you see the LV wallpaper in the background. Then we'll hit this uh, red check mark right here. And then we'll come up here and hit the save button and then save this. So now we'll go all the way back to, to the beginning. We'll choose this photo that we just saved. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is take out, come down here to where we use the wand again. And we're gonna first take out the white backgrounds. So go inside, go inside the lettering, go inside the circle and uh, take out all of the white. And then it leaves you with this. From here, what we're gonna go ahead and do 
is go inside and make the LV logos transparent. So we're gonna click on the light brown parts. All right, and from here, we'll hit this check mark at the top. And then we're gonna save this design again. Hit save. And we'll come out of here. And now we're headed to our Cricut Design Space app. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this uploaded into our Cricut Design Space. Select for photo library, and we're gonna select the one that we just made. Hit apply at the top and we're gonna hit cut image. But before you hit that, you can see the design that you just uh, made transparent and it actually looks good. And you can still see the lettering LOT and it just looks like a, a monogrammed LV inspired uh, design. So just name your design and then upload it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get our pillow measured and we'll get our design cut out All right, so here's the pillow we'll be using i'm just going to take my ruler and we're just going to go ahead and measure the width and just measuring i think i'll go ahead and make the width about 10 inches because that's a pretty good distance so now we'll go ahead and head over to cricut design space on our laptop and we'll get this the sizing correct and get this cut out all right, so what we'll go ahead and do with this design, make sure you click your design and we'll scroll up here to the width, highlight it and change the width to 10 inches. Hit enter and now our design is ready to be made. So we'll hit make it. And of course we're gonna mirror our design because we're using heat transfer vinyl. Hit continue. And the, the type of vinyl I'm gonna use is glitter heat transfer vinyl. So hit glitter iron on. Now that all this is set, go ahead and get our glitter vinyl placed on our mat and cut out. So this is our glitter vinyl. You're gonna just go at the edge of your mat, place it at the edge, make sure it's laying down. And now we'll go ahead and get this placed into our Cricut Maker. Link and C comes on, we'll hit the cricket symbol and get this cut out. So we'll go ahead and get this taken out our Cricut Maker. We'll scoop the Maker over to the side. All right, I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and just cut across so that I can save the vinyl that we did not use. Now I'm gonna take my weeding tool and start weeding the design out starting at the edge of the vinyl.
So here's our finished design. It took a little minute because I know does have a shelf life and if you don't cut it out with enough pressure, it could be real stingy getting the design weeded out. So now we're gonna go ahead and get this placed onto our pillow and get that pressed. So we got our pillow again. We're just gonna go ahead and line this up and just make sure it's even on both sides. If you gotta pick it up and place it a few times, do what you gotta do to make sure this joint is perfect. Now that I got it where I want it, I'm gonna grab my, my Teflon paper, Teflon sheet. I'm gonna place it over the top. I have my Cricut Easy Press set to 320 degrees. We gonna go ahead and get this pressed out. We gonna start at the top first. I got it going for 12 seconds. And then we'll come down below and then press that out for another 12 seconds. All right. And it is a warm peel. So I'm gonna take this off. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start at this edge and start peeling it. Just like that. And now I'm gonna place this over again. We gonna press it one more time to make sure that it stays on the pillow. I'm gonna come starting at the right. And I'm gonna go to the left. 12 more seconds at light pressure. All right. And here's our finished pillow. All right, family, thank you for tuning into this video. I really appreciate you guys for watching, especially if you stayed for the whole thing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you're notified when I drop new videos. And of course, don't forget to share with your friends, your family, anybody who's interested in getting into this cricket industry. And as always, keep applying pressure to life because life has no boundaries. Until next video, we out.